Hello, this is Mrs. Heinzman, and I want to talk to you about your Crayola set that you might have at home and how to work with it. So inside, when you open it up, you're going to have a brush and you have a set of colors. But you also notice that they have some wonderful instructions, and it tells you exactly what your colors are and how to mix to make some of these additional colors. So one of the things I did was I made a chart for you. And so the colors that they have are the blue violet, red orange, yellow, and another yellow, and a turquoise, a blue violet, a black, and a white. The black will be used to make your shades, and the white is used to make your tints. So when we worked in class and we were working on our color wheel and creating tints and shades and working with monochromatic colors, and using the color wheel and doing the uh, complementary colors and that. So some of that tints and shades, you should understand what that means. So one of the things that um, I did was I drew out ovals so that I could create the color chart and the colors that they said that they would be mixing. So one of the things that you would have to do is if you want your red, what you would need to do is take this red violet and this red orange and mix it so that you can get more of a red. And the same thing here is if you take this red orange and you mix it with yellow, you are going to get more of an, an orange. And then for the green, you would take your yellow, you would mix it with your turquoise, and you would get your green. And then the blue is using the turquoise and the violet. And so you can see that I have these arrows so they denote exactly wh where those colors came from um, that we, we did for this color. And so um, to give you an idea of a turquoise plus black, that's a shade. So you can see uh, that is not as uh, brilliant as because it is a shade. And here's another one. This is using the turquoise and adding black and a little bit of red violet. And then on this one here is both yellow, turquoise, and red violet. And so it gives you a much darker uh, green that you could use for foliage and that. And so another a tint here is your red and your white mixed together. And right here is your red violet and turquoise. So it's a little bit different uh, shade than what you would see at the blue, uh, the blue violet. So one of the things that you would simply do is if you need to make a chart for yourself is you would kind of come in here and I would take some of this paint and what we want to do is paint it. I paint only half of it. I want to clean my brush, take a little bit of the moisture off and then I'm just, I'm, with the other brush, with the brush being kind of clear, it's we're just going to let that kind of fade. Clean your brush, and then come in and take your red-orange. Paint your red-orange on here. Again, only half of it. Clean your brush. And then gently have it fade out so you can see how soft that color can become when you need that softness when you're painting with it. Clean your brush, get some clean water, grab some yellow, and then what we do is we kind of come in here, paint only half of it, clean your brush, remove the moisture from the brush, and gently drag this out so that you or kind of get in a transition. So then what I did was I took this red violet, I put it some in here, and I took the orange, I cleaned my brush, grabbed some of the orange so I don't contaminate it, and then I came down and I paint the red. Clean my brush, and so kind of get that softness that we want to kind of see developing. So we can kind of see when it needs to be softer what it's going to look like. So again, 
I'm going to provide you with a chart looking like this so that if you have a set of Crayola watercolors, then you can have this to refer to. But if you also wanted to make your own because you had a little bit different set or a different brand, I recommend that you kind of learn how to make yourself a chart to be able to work with so that uh, we can do some painting with it. And so that's the end of this program. And then I will be able to um, talk to you about using watercolor pencils next.